welcome this ocean this is going to be my 12 decks for the next year deep dive edition <laughs> i chose 12 decks to hopefully learn more about in the upcoming year um, maybe it's too ambitious you know to pick one deck for a month because i know how busy i can be with work and stuff like that and by that i mean how brain that i can be after work but hopefully um I will still have time to at least go through the guidebook for each of the deck um, during the month and do some readings with uh, the deck to get it, get to know it better. So there are decks that I already worked with a little. There are decks that I never, uh, you know, used and are more uh, time required, time consuming or whatever. So. Uh, we will see how it will uh, turn out. I also didn't assign a month to a deck because I felt like it's better if I just have them and I always, you know, pick one when the month starts so that, you know, I'm, so to speak, in a mood for that deck. I think it's it gives me a bigger chance to actually do what I set out to do, read the guidebook, do sample readings, get to know the cards more than... Uh, assigning them right now and then you know maybe having a deck for a month where i'm absolutely not in the mood for something like that so um let's start with something that i already talked about and that's the wildwood tarot okay i should be in frame <laughs> wildwood tarot which uh we are planning on doing a sort of um group study with richie longman tarot uh, throughout the year so it's kind of like a month but it's also uh, an extended one because i really um want to get to know this deck i have it uh, for years now and and i just started going through the the majors and the system but i still you know need time uh, to fully learn the system because it has its own and i I know that I could use it, you know, and read with it how a regular RWS system would work, but I don't see the point doing so. I want to learn this system and I want to use it the way it was intended to use, because that's how I feel I would um, learn the most. And I'm not even sure I'm going to remove the borders anymore. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of not sure about that, which I was that sad. On doing so so this is going to be hopefully a deck that by the end of the year i'm gonna be uh, very very familiar with because i really want to bring this one in to my reading practice in a way that it's uh, a foundational part of it because i kind of feel like it can be like that but you know i need time to actually learn the system learn the cards so hopefully this will um, especially with you know doing the group study thing with um, Richie uh, and through live um, streams uh, are gonna hopefully help. So that's the first one, uh, not first. That's the one. That's the wild wood tarot. Um, another one. And I need to make it easier for me to put together or away. Another one is the hidden realm uh, tarot which I picked up because this uh, felt like it's gonna be my fade deck. But I also, this is also a deck that I didn't want to just start using. I wanted to, you know, read through the guidebook and, um, and study the cards before I do that. And I probably overcomplicate things for myself. I love, I really love the artwork. It's, I just love the colors, it's everything. Um, I was thinking about maybe chopping off the titles, but you know what? I'm, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Or not, at least not right now. I, 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 I just love, I love everything about the artwork. It's, it's, it's such an earthy deck for me. Like, oh, I just love it. So yeah, I, I, but I want to, I want to go through the guidebook and my problem is going through the guidebook is that I always feel like I want to make notes, but 
Most of the time when I can actually sit down and read are, for example, commuting and sitting on a train where I'm not really able to make notes. So I usually just don't do anything, which is stupid. So I kind of need to find a way to be okay with reading the guidebook at least once and then making notes or something like that. So I would actually make some progress because look at that, how beautiful this Ah, this, that, this card, and this is not, you know, like judgment. Uh, not in, in, in the usual way. So, yes, I definitely need to, need to and want to spend time with this deck. So that's the Hidden Realm Tarot. Which I made a pouch and everything. So, you know, I'm ready. <laughs> I just need to actually do it. Okay, next one, still going with the ones that are, have boxes, is The Raven's Prophecy, which I read the books and I know that they are not connecting the, to the tarot in a direct way, which makes me sad to be honest, but I can layer uh, the books into uh, the meanings, the book meanings or the books, not book meanings, the the events of the books and the characters in the books, I can layer them in to the cards, uh, like with the devil. But there are still a lot that's going on on the cards that I don't really know. So I want to take time and actually read through the guidebook because I use this deck for ancestral readings. And it kind of has a special a place but I want to open that up. I want to open this deck up to more than that. Because I kind of feel like if I uh, go through the guidebook, if I learn the meanings more properly of the cards, then I can use it for more than just ancestral readings. And the reason being why I want that, because I really like this deck and I want to use it more. <laughs> but I might do what... Um, uh, Damisha uh, suggested uh, in her video and you know when I uh, commented in her on her video when we talked is that I get a second copy and trim it uh, fully down and maybe use that one as an ancestral one and this one as a regular tarot I don't know I don't know I haven't decided yet I keep going back and forth but the first step is to actually really go, uh, you know, go through the, the guidebook and then see how I feel about the deck. Because right now it's, it has a very special purpose, which is not a bad thing, but I want to use it more. I kind of want to end up with a deck collection that I only have decks that I... I either have very specific roles, but I know that they have those specific roles, or I, I have uh, only versatile decks. So, yeah, I'm working on that. I'm not, you know, hurrying, um, decluttering or anything like that. I'm just trying to be more mindful about what I have and know what I have. The next one, or the last one with the big box, is the Antique Anatomy, and this is the Hungarian edition. Which I kind of like. I mean, I really like it. It's, it's, they, they did it well. Uh, let's just say that this uh, publisher <laughs> in the past uh, produced some horrible cardstock uh, for some horrible, uh, sort of some decks. So I was very hesitant to get the deck, but a friend of mine got it and she said that it was surprisingly really good and it's actually really good cardstock. Um, it's not too thick, it's, it, it, it's just good. It's it's easy to shuffle, so I was very, very uh, pleased with it. And I kind of wanted uh, a Hungarian deck anyway, so I have not two, of course, <laughs> because I have the light series as well. But this is something that I, I want to sit down and uh, read through the guidebook properly and see um, what this deck is all about, because I know that I like the aesthetics, but I want more from a deck than just the aesthetics. And this one seems like uh, such a deck. And I know a lot of people said that they have very accurate and um, meaningful readings from this deck. So I want to give it this one a chance as well. I think this could be uh, one that's more easily 
uh, achievable, you know, like actually getting to know the deck because I have a few that I'm, um, let's just say, skeptical that I will achieve uh, what I set out to, but we will see. Yeah, so this is the Antic Anatomy or Antic Anatomia in Hungarian. Uh, another one is the Spacious Tarot, which I have for a while, but I just, I, I, I think I have the, the guidebook, uh, in a, I can't remember, um, in a PDF format, but you know, I have it here, but I also bought the audio, uh, thing that they did, uh, where the, uh, the creators are talking about the cards and I never listened to it, which is like, I know I have issues. But this is such a different deck from how I read tarot and what I like in a tarot deck. As in, it's good for uh, path work. It, it kind of puts you in uh, into the cards. In, uh, not in, with all, but uh, there's a lot of cards that you can imagine yourself being in the cards. Which, of course, I can't find anything. It's pipish, but it's not lazy pips, I don't feel like. But I definitely want to, you know, give it a chance because I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to keep it if I, you know, don't do that. Uh, it's my favorite High Priestess card ever. But, you know, you don't keep decks because you like cards. So I want to give it this deck a proper chance. So I will listen to the audio uh, recordings and read the guidebook and then decide what I want to do with this deck. And obviously it's not because the deck is not good or anything, it's just, you know, it's me. Okay, uh, next one is another one that I used uh, already, but I haven't given it a chance, uh, as in reading through the guidebook and deciding if I want to rearrange maybe the deck, because this is, some, this is a deck that uh, I've seen people do that. Um, going through it, uh, reassigning meanings to cards, but, and I was, you know, very, very tempted uh, doing that, but I kind of want to give uh, the deck a chance to show me if it is going to work for me better with the original arrangement, so I want to do some digging around the artist website, maybe, you know, maybe there are these uh, paintings that Maybe there's some additional information is available on the internet or something like that. Reading the guidebook uh, and, and just spending time with the artwork. Uh, maybe that will make me appreciate the selections uh, for certain cards. Because, for example, this page should be the queen because the, pa the queen, in, uh, queen of pentacles is uh, a bride. And that is, I know that a lot of people change that one because, yeah, they kind of feel like they should be the other way around for me as well. But I, I don't know anything about the artwork itself, so maybe there's an explanation that will make me think that they are the correct um, um, depictions for me how I read that card. But, you know, I need to, even though I use this deck and I know that I can read with it very well, um, I want to still do some digging. Um, another one, which might surprise people, is the Smoke, Ash and Embers. And the funny thing about this deck is that obviously this is my Dragon deck, but, and I was very, very fortunate and, uh, you know, uh, I don't even know what, uh, lucky to get the prototype of this deck and I use that one <laughs> I use that a lot and ever since I got the uh, the, the proper one I kind of built uh, this deck up in my head in a way that I'm just gonna you know I, I need to read the, the guidebook and I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna use it when I'm, I'm, I'm fully well known the deck and I'm not, not, not gonna uh, use it before that because it's gonna happen immediately but I kind of I think I, I over complicated again things for myself and I I just I don't know 
it's not the deck's fault, obviously. I love the deck and I know that it reads me well because I use the prototype a lot and we just connect it. But I kind of feel like that now that I have the real thing, I need to step up and I'm not good enough for the deck, if that makes any sense. Uh, I know it's ridiculous and I have issues, you know, I have to work on that because obviously what's the point having this perfect deck, perfect dragon deck, almost perfect. But you know, like dragons like this, the chariot. Uh, if I don't use it, not like nothing. So, so I'm I'm gonna sit down, read through the guidebook, um, spend the time with the, the deck in that sense, and then I'm gonna get over myself and start using it more. <laughs> Okay, and you know, all the issues are mine and not the decks. This is a good top box as well. Okay, next one. <clears throat> Which one? Okay. Is the Dungeons and Dragons. Which I hate the box. I don't know who came up with this box, but it's so hard to get the, the, the cards and everything out because this ribbon is too short, for example. I already, you know, like ripped it. <clears throat> but yeah, besides that, there's not a lot of information in the guidebook, which is bothering me to no end, because I do think that this is a great deck. Uh, two things, you know, the guidebook is, doesn't have enough information and the suits are not... Uh, clearly uh, indicated on the suit cards, which I think is just black Y. Um, I still haven't uh, had the time to actually find someone and reach out to the publisher because they are part of a bigger publishing house and I couldn't really find uh, a direct way to reach anyone who's uh, working on um, the this deck I found the illustrator but uh, you know they were just like they told me that they were told how what to you know illustrate so uh, the choices that were made in the deck are not supposed to be theirs uh, if I understood correctly so I kind of want to find the person responsible for the cars to ask like what do you mean why is this this like why, why did you choose um, certain things because I think it's it's this deck has wonderful potentials and if these quirk would would be like fixed like please like indicate the suit on the the card itself somehow give me some more information about why certain characters are in the deck because I I don't I'm not familiar enough with Dungeons and Dragons to know if you know if you look at a card and you look at someone like that with a face tattoo and that's typical armor for example is this someone who's actually an individual character or is this an archetype like the dragon uh, so you know like is this uh, is this a troll or a orc? I never know. Uh, what is this strength? Let's check. I forgot. Because I don't want to say something that's not there. A warrior. Thanks. Thanks. You know, that's not helping. Uh, I'm not familiar with D&D &D per se. Turns out I have a lot of books that I read that were based on on the on D&D. On &D, but I just didn't know because... I was reading the books and uh, the game wasn't ever really present in my life in that way. But I love these lovers. Uh, so I don't I don't recognize uh, characters if there is even something to, uh, to recognize. But I would like to know more, you know, like why certain um, creatures were chosen and, and stuff like that. So yeah, it's... Uh, uh, the deep dive with this deck is going to be trying to get more familiar with D and D itself, the game itself, because, like I said, I have a bunch of fantasy books that are based on D and D, uh, but I think it's just based on the word. So I'm familiar with the word, but not specifics. 
So I want to do that and I also want to find the, um, you know, the creator and get some <laughs> answers. <laughs> so we will see if, if I manage to do that because, like I said, it's not as easy. And also, please redo the box because this, this is, this is, this is not working. This, I think it's hands down the, the, the box that I hate the most. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm going to spend some time with this deck as well. Another one, because, you know, let's continue with getting annoyed with the deck, is the Supernatural. And you could ask me why I need some deep dive on uh, with this deck. Uh, because you might think that, you know, if you watch the show, uh, it's enough. And it's enough, but it was a long, uh, you know, it was a, a show that went on for a long, long time. So there are characters that, even though I, you know, I know who they are, I forgot their names or exactly what they did. And I don't want to reverse the series because I don't want to kind of ruin it. Uh, there's not enough time uh, went on since I'm, I, was, I, I was watching the show, so I don't want to ruin it for myself. There are also pipish cards like this, which is like lazy pips. So... I definitely want to do something with those. I like uh, the different blades for this one, but it doesn't mean anything as in four of swords. So I kind of want to maybe mess around with some of these and add maybe spells or I don't even know. I, I want to do something that would bring out the meaning of the card a little more because this like this, this is awesome, you know. So there are really good cards and the guidebook is really good, but I haven't had time to actually go through and read, uh, you know, read it uh, fully uh, because, you know, that's like, oh, it's Benny. Look, I don't remember the names. I'm really bad with names, but I remember being, you know, like um, a vampire and what that was all about. So I know that this is a great strength card and I do think that everything was chosen very well for this deck, as in the guidebook. Uh, the characters were really uh, chosen well, the descriptions are awesome. It's just the illustration is lazy and I'm mad. I'm still mad about that because this could have been one of my foundational deck if they took the time and actually put some put more effort into it. And I'm not expecting them to, you know, like put uh, characters on every uh, uh, every minor arcana but come on like my favorite example to be mad about is i think the three of pentacles or the sixth one i'm not gonna find it because this at least is sharp the image but those two cards are even blurry which is like what the hell are you doing yeah okay I, i'm not gonna find it but whatever I ranted about this deck enough, but I want to make it turn into something that I'm not mad at. Because I, otherwise, I love this deck. This is my love to hate deck. So I need to figure out something to make it work for me better. And then comes a deck that's gonna take me forever to learn, I think, which I was very excited to get. And it was a gift, so, which I really do really appreciate. And I will, uh, I, I haven't trimmed it uh, yet because I want to see if I actually, uh, and it's still in order because I haven't had time to do anything with it because I know that it's going to require time. So um, I want to, you know, really spend time with this deck because I think that this deck is going to be amazing for me but i'm not sure uh it's kind of like a thin cardstock so trimming it down would really help but i also you know if i trim it down i don't know if i want to keep the titles maybe not but if i do that you know i need to learn each card because um for example this is the eight of uh, wands i just right now looking at it i wouldn't know that this is the um, eight on ones and my cat came into my room and how my door was supposed to close whatever so you're gonna hear me meowing uh, probably 
or playing around in the background. I'm sorry about that. Um, so yeah, I need to definitely spend time with it and then decide if I want to just, you know, trim it down, which I think I will, but I, I, want, to, I want to be smart with this deck because it's not just a deck that you can pull out and start reading with. I don't think so, at least. Or maybe it's just, you know, me overcomplicating things again. So yeah, I have this one. And two more left. One is a system, it's the Lenormand, uh, which I want to dedicate at least a month to. And I chosen this deck because my friend who gifted it to me told me that it's easy to learn with. Uh, uh, the cards are big, like Oracle card size. But, you know, since it, this is going to be a study deck, I don't mind. Uh, I don't know how good this... Um, um, guidebook is going to be, but where is the Gypsy Oracle? Oh, interesting. Yo, oh, there's more than one way in this one. No. Ah, okay. Well, that must be some. Like, see, I haven't even looked at it. Interesting. Whatever. So I wanna, I wanna uh, give time and uh, read another book because the one that I read was really good, but I, I just couldn't find a way to to start making sense of the cards. Not because the instructions or the descriptions were not clear, but but for some reason I just I pulled cards and sometimes they made sense. Uh, sometimes they made absolutely no sense to me and. I want to use Lenormand. I think that's something that I really want to learn. So, you know, I think dedicating one month to the system and to this deck is going to be a good starting point to see if I can actually learn it or not, you know. Okay, and the last one is the Prisma Vision Tarot, which also is something that it has uh, its own system. This is an absolutely colorful and wonderful looking deck. But it's also not something that I just like to, that I want to just, you know, uh, use and go with the titles. I want to go with how the, the actual meanings are for the deck. So I want to learn the system. I've heard that this is very good for ancestor work so that's it was one of the reasons why i got it uh, so yeah reading through the guidebook maybe watching videos on it later after if i you know don't find enough information to uh, get to know this deck better but yeah i really want to you know use this deck so i need to give it some time and I don't know, it kind of feels like a wintery deck, so I might even start with this one as uh, the January deck. We'll see. It kind of feels like a January deck. But yeah, uh, these are, I think, all of... Yes, I think I went through everything. There should be 12 <laughs> decks that I've chosen for next year, hopefully as a deep dive. Obviously, if uh, a deck comes in to the picture that I really like, that I will... You know, I might replace something, but uh, or if I go to something, for example, this one quicker than expected, uh, then I can, you know, add maybe something or just spend more time with other decks. We will see. But that's the intention for the new year. We will see <laughs> what's going to happen and how it's going to happen. But yeah, do you have anything like this? Uh, do you have decks that you... Uh, planned on deep diving in the new year please do let me know because i'm quite curious do you have anything that i have or have a similar video please do let me know because i would like to watch it but other than that please do the youtube things like subscribe come hang around comment down below say hi to my cat and see you in the next one bye